G'day guys, uh, Dan Jones from The Boat Brokerage here and welcome to a 2021 Beneteau Antares 9. So she's uh, just under 30 feet long, twin outboards. If you wanna see how she drives, follow the link coming up on your screen. We've done a separate test drive. You are uh, watching the walkthrough video. Um, just come straight on inside with me and let's discover the interior of this sweet, sweet boat. What I like, um, about the Beneteau group. I've tested quite a few of their uh, boats on my other channel, Dan's Boat Life. They, they're very clever designers. Um, they make incredibly good use of limited space and they come up with very intelligent ideas uh, to turn that space into usable ideas for you. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, we're in a, a 30 foot boat, we've got two cabins, we've got this wonderful saloon um, driving station, little galley, kitchen. We have a proper outdoor area and a sun lounge area up the front. So if you're a family, if you're new to boats or boats of this size, um, and if you want something that's just gonna keep you and your family and friends comfortable for weekends and day trips, keep you out of the weather, protect you from the sun, um, keep you out of the cold wind, this is a really, really good boat to focus your attention on. They're also, um, being part of the Beneteau group, it's a global brand. They have good resale. Um, they're always in demand because the reliability of outboards, this size of boat is a size that you can park pretty much anywhere and quite affordably. Um, so anyway, let's take our way through the boat. We won't um, waste any more time. We, I'm sorry about the waves just coming through. We tried to pick a calm spot, but someone's obviously gone past us. Um, so as you enter the boat, this is where you turn all your power systems on, bow thruster, main batteries, engine, um, that's your anchor windlass uh, breaker just there, and that's gonna show the shore power. There is a little bit of storage underneath here. As you saw, this table is multifunctional. It'll open up, it's a leaf table. It will also drop down, change the legs, turn this into one big bed. But the, the ideas don't end there, because, check that out. You can now, move to the seated position. So what you would obviously do is swivel the table around. So it's not in the way, but I was just being lazy. Um, swivel that table around, and then this will go all the way into the up position and two people can face forward. Um, you got drink holders, one, two, three here, and you also have a power socket, um, 12 volt and 240 on that side. Um, so just moving over to the starboard side, we got this neat little galley. So. It's covered with this glass cover just here, so it's a perfect prep station or serving station. If you didn't cook and you just took some food from the cafe, you could set it all out here and then serve people on the inside and the outside dining area. If you are gonna cook, you've got a little gas stove here, big burner, little burner, hot and cold water, couple of, couple of drink holders just there, they are drained. We've got a proper little fridge just in here. That's a Dometic 12 volt fridge. There you go, you've got the owner's drinks in there and it's got a little freezer drawer. Um, you've got a drawer here, quite a large drawer, so that's good for some plates and some cutlery, and you can do your placemats on the other side. And then just enough space um, for the microwave, a little bit of safety gear. You might also be able to get some food items in there if you want, um, but you've also got storage underneath this seat here for uh, a few food items, should you wish. Um, now, the doors themselves are concertinas. They they concertina one, two, three, and they've got stoppers. So you can actually just crack the doors open a little bit for some air or halfway like this as well if you choose. So just let air through here, kind of stops kids or dogs wanting to escape out onto the back deck. Um, we've got blinds going all the way around. So there's blinds going right the way up the side and the back here for privacy and also knocking out some of the sunlight. Then we've got a speaker there, Fusion Fusion, and I've got a gas detector couple of down lights, which is going to bathe this area above the table in light, so that's okay for eating at night time. And then for natural light and ventilation, we have this big opening, just manually operated, it looks like a Lumar hatch, with a sun blind and a mozzie screen as well, so that just pulls out from the other direction. Got a reversing mirror if you have a stiff neck, that's handy. <laughs> I like that, that is actually kind of handy. Um, then we have the helm, uh, the helm area. So first thing I want you to notice, we've got a side opening door. So from an operational perspective, this is a really good layout because 
If you've got your kids, which is very likely in a boat like this, your wife might be there and your two little ones are just sitting around the table with their games. If you're trying to maneuver the boat into the marina or drop the anchor and manage the operational side of things, um, you probably don't want to walk through and over all your kids' toys and stepping over their friends to get to the back deck. So in this layout, you just do it like this. It's quite simple, it's a decent sized door. Um, you can go forward to check, you know, take the safety catch off the anchor before you release it and you can go aft and you can also make your way around the port side of the boat as well. Um, the other thing worth noting from an operational and comfort perspective is just have a look at this, Will. This window, big sliding window goes all the way back there. So we have a decent amount of opening. You can actually even reach the port side midship cleat from that window, a little bit of a stretch, but it is doable. Anyway, I'll refocus my attention back on this helm. Um, so flip up bolster, single seat, twin engine boat, um, comfortable. It's not trying to be um, a race machine. It's not trying to be an offshore weapon. This is a family boat. This is a go nice places, drop the anchor and spend a night or two. So that's the focus of the, the Beneteau uh, on Tez range. Um, and so that's what I, I believe they've achieved quite nicely. Um, we have a digital throttle just here, mounted in a reasonably comfortable location. Key starts here. Um, the emergency um, uh, lanyard can just attach there. On the port side, we have the Lenco uh, trim tabs operated just there. We have the bow thruster. That's a side power bow thruster here. We've got a road counter on starboard because we have an electric anchor operated from the bow and from the helm. This is the fusion control for the stereo. Lights, anchor, dunno, bow thruster, bow thruster. Uh, that's navigation and anchor light. That's the window wash for the windscreen wipers. That's the port, uh, starboard and port windscreen wiper. That's the pressure for the water. And that is the power for the electronics. Talking about electronics, we have, this, have a Simrad screen. We do have the depth sounder speed over ground so all of our necessary information including the charts let's just have a look if there's anything else boom boom i'm not sure if we have okay and we have a fish finder so for you fishos out there this boat is fishable single drink holder decent size so you can have a tinny with a cooler in this holder and that will fit in nicely we have the mercury digital throttles uh, digital diagnostics, I should say, very low hours. As you can see just on the sticker here, it's due next at 135 hours. So we can estimate current hours as somewhere around about the 70 mark. I'll confirm that in the inventory. A small Plastimo compass. This just looks like some 12 volt charging and an AUX for the stereo and another place to throw your phones. Um, and it's blackened in color, so you're not gonna get any glare in your face. Um, so that's all neat, um, and it's really doing everything as advertised uh, on a boat like this. But I think what we will do now, um, I'm going to make my way down the side decks, and Will, you just turn around and film me. Um, we'll cover the back deck. As I come down here, I can see a couple of um, inlets or outlets. So I've got waste out on starboard forward. I've got water in starboard midships, and I've got petrol in starboard aft. Um, then that looks like an opening. Let's just have a look. Okay, so there's our gas in a ventilated locker with a drain forward of that, and that just clips in like so. So I'm just gonna get in the corner here and just give you guys some perspective. Um, once again, suitable for a family. Neat, packing a lot of punch, like lots of multifunctional furniture is what you see uh, on the Beneteau group, to be fair. You know, I saw this on the Swift trawlers and some of the other boats uh, of their design that I've tested on my other channel. They're just, they're always thinking, what are two or three things that we can do with this space? They don't waste any space on these boats. So to put that um, into perspective, this seat here, in the current position, this is what you would do in lunch mode. When you wanna pack the boat up, you wanna trim those engines up and out of the water because you wanna get the props out of the water. So this seat will unclip here and there and the thing slides forward on some sail track. Goes forward about half a meter, which then creates the space 
for you to safely trim the motors up. This table will also adjust. I believe there is a whole um, setup that we can erect and put cushions over this to create a big aft sun lounge. I'm gonna have to cut to that footage because I haven't actually set it up just yet so I can't instruct you exactly how it goes. You can see one of those cushions for this corner is downstairs. I haven't got it out yet. Um, aft cleat, aft cleat, rod holder, rod holder, drink holder, drink holder, and two more drink holders just there. So four drink holders in total. We've got this um, table here, which expands like so. So you've got inside and outside dining. They've got the little supports there. And then we have storage underneath all of the seats like so. So that's great for your life jackets. We have storage under here and then we have storage here as well. This one looks like it's also an esky to be fair. So that looks like it double as an esky. Um, it doesn't end there. Our swim platforms come out the back here and just have a quick look, Will. Um, so on the starboard side, we've got our four step swim ladder just there. And this particular owner has added a removable grab rail. So that's pretty handy for coming into the dock. Um, on the port side, we've got our shore power. So that plugs in just there. And there's also a little, little locker for storing things just forward of that. Professional engine mounting, as you'd expect. A couple of 200 Mercs, it's the modern ones. They, I, I've, this shape's really grown on me, to be honest. I quite like it now. And the service access port is super simple with these. So that's great. Uh, got the trim tabs. You can see that they're covered in prop speed. So that's good. And we've got a swim shower on the starboard side, which is just here, so logical, got the swim ladder, get out, you need to use the swim shower. And one other thing I didn't point out before um, is you've got access to the bilge in here. So you just hinge that. Obviously you could open this a little bit more um, if you move the table, just give me the camera, I'll show you. So if you needed long-term storage, check that out. Sorry, the dirty bilge water, but um, lots of storage, tanks on either side, and um, would be an area that you could store larger or longer term items in a boat like this. So that's super handy. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up the port side and we'll go around the foredeck just so you guys can appreciate the space available. The way to get up, um, speaker, speaker, downlight just before I leave this area and sunshade all the way back to here. You grab this handle and then you grab here and you can step up like so. I'm just passing the uh, port side uh, fuel tank in so you've got two tanks port and starboard in and you've got just enough space to make you make your way safely I should say up forward so you have a grab handle here past the midships cleat open window and then you make it to the bow so up on the bow area we've got quite a decent amount of space for a boat of this size and there is um, sun lounges that cover this whole area so we've got lounges that will fill in here. You can see the leading edge track just here so they won't take off underway. You've got drink holders, one, two, three, four, fixed window, forward facing escape hatch and ventilation for the cabin below. And electric operated anchor windlass. We have tested it, operated from the helm, but you can also operate it from the bow here. That is just the handle to operate the clutch if you need. And there's also a safety strop here Plenty of space, decent size, anchor well, and you can access the chain. A um, couple of cleats forward, uh, bow, uh, uh, port and starboard navigation lights as well. Um, before we go down below again, two windscreen wipers. They've got the freshwater wash operated individually on switches. Lumi hatch, this is the external look of the hatch, and two fixed glass windows, which each of them have a, a removable sunshade, so you can knock out that sun uh, if you need to. Uh, so come on down with me, we'll go downstairs. So now we're going down the starboard side. You just get in like this, duck your head. I'm gonna take my shoes off before we go down below. Um, come on with me down into the master. So basically, um, we've got the guest cabin to port, the loo to starboard, and the master forward. We'll just go straight into the master because I just think this is a, a real feature of this boat. So we're on a 20, 29 and a half foot boat and we have a, a master cabin the size of some 37 foot boats. It really is impressive down here. And this is where I see this little uh, Beneteau on Tars is 
punching above its weight and it's it's really providing families who want to be enjoying you know they're protected in inshore waterways and go away for the weekends with your kids um this this thing's really punching so what do we have we've got a, a fixed opening window on port and starboard we've got his and hers storage lockers so one two three on each side decent size um we have down lights, we have reading lights, you have the ability to sit up in bed. We've got knockout shades of, of the sun, so if you don't want the sun, you can release, uh, you can pull these across, one there as well, and you can block it all out. Um, and then we've got little knick-knack storage areas behind this padded ledge here. Um, and the, the reading lights, or the, the light switches are just there. But it's worth noting, like this bed, it's huge. You've got like this much space just there. And if you lie this way, you know, this is huge. We've got so much space. So it's a really, really good bed. And the tricks don't end there. You've got storage underneath here, just here, and quite a decent amount of storage, gas struts, under here. So what I see this space really useful as, you're probably going to arrive with your... Um, your soft sailing or boat bags, as you do, and you, you'll arrive on the Friday, you're going away till Sunday, you put your sailing bag just here, you take out all your t-shirts, put them in here, put your shorts and your budgie smugglers in here, some spare stuff in here. If you have a jacket, just look around the corner here, Will, that hangs quite neatly in here. You put four or six jackets in there. So you can have a wet weather jacket, normal jacket, a couple of spare blankets down below, and then your empty bags, they can store underneath here because you're not going to be getting to those over the weekend so that's a sensible spot for putting those and some extra safety gear if you need so it's it's this is that sort of sensible use of small space that i get the vibe of whenever i'm on a beneteau somebody's thinking about this how your weekend is going to operate next thing worth noting this door um i think it operates like this there you go sliding door so we haven't wasted all this space with the big swing door we've put a sensible barn style sliding door in there which does the job just fine access into the bilge just there but we're interested in the toilet so come and have a look in here will so decent size a toilet compartment so i'll stand up i've still got a oh, good four inches above my five foot seven height there and sitting on the loo um well i'm not technically sitting on the loo right now i'm sitting on the this hard plastic stuff that you they make cutting boards out of that it covers the loo because this is also a wet head it's a shower so you have your hot and cold mixer tap just here it's got two functions you press a button you get a straight stream you press another button you get the shower and then you can pull it out like this and hook it up here and this whole area is a shower so that's cool um, then where does the steam go? Well, it goes out the opening window, which we saw on the outside before. So that's how that evacuates this cabin. And you also have another little window just here, but that's not opening, it's just fixed. Um, in terms of what else you have here, little storage area here, the sinks use doable size. This is like a, uh, it's like a Corian or something. It's, it, it's not plastic, it's some sort of stone, this bench top. But you've got two areas which are suitable for uh, Heli Hansen style toiletries bags. One, two, three, four, perfect. Um, and then we've got our little storage and access to pipes just underneath there. So that's gonna be great for all your toilet holders. The, the sink towel rack holder is just there and opening access to get in behind the dash and a small mirror and another uh, handle, or not handle, hook for a, a bath towel just there. Let's go have a look at the guest accommodation. So welcome to the guest accommodation and it's it's surprisingly uh, impressive on a boat of this size. So before we get there, I'll just point out a couple of features as you enter. We do have a private door, we've got a window up there, we have an opening hatch above that for ventilation. Um, a little storage area, you see the owner's got a small esky in there, but that's good storage. Another good storage area, another one, a little ledge on top. Light switches are just here, we have some uh, just basically LED strip lighting and some down lighting in this cabin. And then the bed itself is pretty impressive. Like you've got this fixed window on the side here. The design of the, um, uh, of, of the structure or the deck 
allows you to still sit up in bed. I can actually, I could fully sit up and it's not actually impeding my vision. This angle here and these soft corners here, there's no sharp edges down here. So that's okay from a safety perspective. But the bed itself is, I'll just put my feet on the end. And so like decent size. This is a great kiddies cabin. It's actually suitable for another set of adults if you needed to. And then you can see he's got some more life jackets in here, but that's another storage area. Um, it's, he's actually got more life jackets than he needs. And then I've got a service panel to get in underneath the galley and the helm at my feet. So yeah, I mean, for a, for a one or two nights, this is fantastic. Okay, so if you are the family boater or the aspiring family boater, um, if you want a, a protected cabin boat to take you on that next adventure, maybe do a little bit of fishing, introduce your kids or, or friends into the boating lifestyle. Take a look at this Beneteau on Tears 9. It's um, got all the wonderful features. It's basically a brand new boat. It's got the convenience of outboards and it's gonna be keep you comfortable for the weekends away. So um, not much more to say other than that, uh, except for the fact that it's a Beneteau and these things are really easy to sell. So when you get ready for the next boat in your boating life, um, you'll have something that everybody wants. That's worth something. My name's Dan Jones, it's been The Boat Brokerage. Thank you, see you on the next one.